we think about uh, summarizing um, how to optimize the modern uh, transfer model TV procedure, well, I would say first um, uh, thinking about the choice of a device we have as operators to be sure that we will have uh, at least a 100% uh, device or technical success rate when we will try to implant a device meaning that uh, the device we want to implant will properly implant it in a correct anatomically uh, uh, scheduled position uh, with a good valve function without uh, more than a, a trace or mild uh, paravalvular leak and minimi minimizing all the periprocedural complications we could have related to the device uh, namely uh, the risk of pacemaker implantation, of mechanical trauma to the annulus and uh, a day to daily practice uh, what we do when we, we tailor the, the therapy to each individual patient is just consider the risk of uh, potential adverse events like uh, annulus rupture in case of a spotty calcifications, uh, risk of pacemaker implantation in case of preliminary CG uh, AV conduction disturbances and then adapt our choice to those features in order to reach the best outcome for the patient benefit. The streamlined TAVI procedure definition we could give is to eliminate some unnecessary step. But second part of the definition is not to compromise patient safety. And what we've learned uh, now for years is that during a TAVI procedure, almost 99% of the cases uh, are uh, occurring um, or are done with embolization of debris to the brain. So we know that we have some brain injury in almost all TAVI procedures. So we are on one side uh, the source of debris of embolization, on the other side we have the devices available to avoid those embolization. But we know also that when those devices were tested to date, uh, they failed uh, to demonstrate in randomized controlled trial reduction of stroke and of mortality mainly because uh, not adequately powered. So they have been grouped into meta-analysis, uh, into some uh, merged uh, trials and then we see some emerging interesting data showing that this could be cerebral embolic protection uh, could be a, a good strategy to improve the safety of a patient. But I still keep on thinking that uh, it's still a, a, um, um, a step of a procedure we have to keep and to integrate into a streamlined IV procedure.